Where would I buy if I had to in Bundaberg, Queensland? Let's jump over here into Picky and we're gonna load up the local government area overall. To begin with, we're going to assume that we are, you know, having to buy here. But overall, it is in the top 81% of locations across the country. A lot of really wonderful things happening. Low construction, lots of new positive projects coming through the pipeline. We have good diversity of employment. You have to be careful with some of these regionals. We do have 2.2% uh, of new homes in the construction pipeline. Some suburbs have over 20% of new homes construction. Definitely stay away from them. But when you come in here to the, you know, the CBD, the local, uh, local or the, the higher density areas, the more established areas, we have low new homes in the construction pipeline. So definitely focus your attention in here to the, the inner part of Bundaberg and be careful of those surrounding suburbs. We should be doing that with a city the size of Bundaberg anyway. It does drop off generally quite quickly in these smaller regional centres or, you know, average sized regional centres. Individual suburbs. Let's, you know, this is ordered. There's 108 suburbs in the region. The green ones are generally, you know, they are in the buying window. The further up the list, the, the stronger we feel the opportunity is from an algorithmic perspective to buy there. So why don't we start at the top of the list? This is Ashfield in Bundaberg, prime time in the buying window. What we really like about it is high owner occupier levels, a lot of pride, a lot of you know, lower turnover of stock of properties, which generally leads to low supply, very low days of supply. And we have um, you know, a very buoyant rental market in this suburb. Okay, looking at the yields individually. So overall, 2.8%, it's on the low side. Um, we need to find high yielding areas. When I say buoyant, it's um, high volatility, high variance. It's very low compared to the surrounding areas. For me, I like to be buying in suburbs that are on the higher side of the overall city or local government area. So this area, we do need to go back to the drawing board. I will be writing that one straight off. Let's go down the list to the next suburb. That one is a higher price point than the overall city. It, you know, it's in the eights or the nines or the tens out of 10. I stay away from it on those reasons. We don't wanna be investing in the top part of a market. We wanna be investing around that four, five, six, uh, and then seeing those, those suburbs that really are um, being pulled up by the bootstraps. Let's go into Norval, 330. It might be too low on the socio spectrum. Sorry, let me just click this properly. So let's have a look at Norval, see if that's ticking the boxes for us. Obviously, we're still in the buying window. This is one of those suburbs really leading the charge forward for the local government area overall. Um, let's have a look at the yield numbers. This is probably the first number that I would look for at the suburb level. Okay, 6.1% yield, excellent. What are the vacancy rates doing? Vacancy rates are extremely tight, under half of 1%. Let's have a look at days of supply. 74 days of supply, okay? That seems to be around average. You know, there are suburbs right next door that are under 30 days of supply. We maybe might need to check there. Have there been a big glut of homes just put on the market in recent weeks? But generally, under 100 days of supply is very tight across the country. Individual, so overall, this suburb, great. Uh, it's prime buying window, high owner occupier levels, low days of supply, and low price discounting. It's, and I've confirmed that with the yield, I've confirmed that with the days of supply. For me, it's leading the charge forward at a local government area level. This is one of the suburbs that I would be focusing my attention on if I had to buy in Bundaberg. Which streets will we be focusing our attention on? We want lots of owner occupiers. So basically most of the suburb or, or pretty much all of the suburb, any, anything around or above two in every three people as an owner occupier is enough for me. I want lots of houses as the most in demand property type. Stay away from this area over here. Um, we wanna see higher than average rents. So these three clusters here in the middle of the suburb, that's where I'm focusing. Let's see if they have higher than average yields. Less, it's probably only now these two. And let's have a look at public housing. So let's stay away from this one. So it's only these two street pockets that I would actually be focusing my attention on. Let's zoom in a little bit here and you can actually see some street names. So this is really the only part of the suburb that I'm focusing my attention. There might be some other suburbs to check out. You can go over to picky, P-I-C-K-I, 
www.com.au if you'd like to do this analysis yourself and look at some of the other suburbs. But this was probably, you know, right up there in where I would buy, if I had to, in Bundaberg in late 2022.